All right, so today we've got a little bit of a debate. I have four classic Jordans sitting beside me, and I don't throw the word classic around lightly. These are absolutely certified classics. And one of the sneaker blogs, I think it was Nice Kicks, posted this and I was like, huh, I actually had to think about it and I kinda wanted to know where you guys stand. I'm gonna show you these four Jordans and I want you to tell me which one you would let go. If you had to choose one of these that you had to get rid of, say you had all four, pick one. Which one do you like the least that you'd be okay with not having in your sneaker collection. I'll show them to you and then I'll tell you which one is gone. First up is a pair that you've seen. You've seen all of these actually plenty of times. So I'm gonna be pretty brief with them, but this is a pair of bread fours. It absolutely makes sense why these are a fan favorite, especially with that Nike Air action on the back there. Now, White Cement is actually my favorite Jordan 4. These are closely behind that. I'm all about Jordan 4s, huge fan, whether they have the Nike Air on the back, the Jordan on the back, whether they're an OG colorway, something hyped up, a collaboration, something simple. Like, I'm really very down with this model. So that is one of the options, Bread 4s. Let's keep it rolling. Okay, and then the next option, we have a pair of Jordan threes, which is similar. A lot of people that like threes kind of like fours, and I'm right there with you. The early on Jordan retros, like that's me. 2AT, honestly. These are just so good, man. You ever get in like a bad mood and then all of a sudden you throw on a pair of shoes you really like? Like you take your time putting them on, you lace them up nicely, you stand up, you check them out in the mirror, and then you go on and it kind of makes you feel a little bit better. And this is not my favorite pair of Jordan 3s. It's actually probably my third. I love True Blues. True Blues are my favorite. I'm in the minority there. And then followed by the white cements and then black cements at number three. Okay, now we kind of take a little bit of a jump with this Jordan right here. This is an older pair, not that old, but not the most recent release. This should give it away as to what these are. Got that plastic slide out on top that I'm not really a fan of. And it's funny that they used this that is typically incorporated on a slide out box, but just threw it right on top of uh, these standard boxes. So that was kind of an afterthought, I'd have to imagine, that they're like, okay, we'll just plop them on top, give them a little something extra. But that's not what this video is about. This shoe is actually something that I haven't worn that much. I feel like this is just a colorway you have to have in your collection. If you're into Jordans, you may not be, that's all good. But this is something that I recognized early on. Like this was one of the most recognizable Jordans. There was also a ton of fakes of this shoe. But once you get the real deal in hand, you're like, wow. All those are so foo-foo, it's not even funny. This is a pair of 2012s, I think is when these retro, 2012, I may be wrong. I think it's 2012. Anyway, correct me if I'm wrong. They look excellent. They haven't yellowed like crazy or anything because this bottom sole, the outsole, can turn like yellowish, even though that it's red. They look awesome. This is one of the rare sneakers that you can pull out of the box and kind of just marvel over. And that's not really my style. Like I've always said, I buy all these shoes to wear them and that's still the case. But 11s, something about keeping 11s on ice feels all right. You know, like I wouldn't want these threes to just be sitting around. I really like wearing this shoe. That's why I have two pairs of both those and I, I wear the older pair a little bit more just so I don't beat those up. But 11s just kind of sitting in the box and you pull them out and you see that patent leather just shining. It's a pretty good feeling. It is a pretty good feeling. All my other 11s I wear pretty frequently, but these I just kind of keep on the low low. And they're flashy. They're absolutely the flashiest out of all the shoes on here, I would say. So that may be good, that may be bad. We'll get into that in a second. There are plenty of people that have Jordan 11s as their favorite Jordan ever. Specifically this colorway, ain't nothing wrong with that. Concords, amazing shoe. Another classic joint, Space Jams obviously. So there's a lot of people that are gonna watch this video and say Jordan 11s, that's my favorite shoe. Me on the other hand, I have a favorite in the other direction. This is kind of a spoiler because this one is never leaving my collection, obviously. We've got some bread ones. These are the older pair. They're not the most recent release. I struck out on those, but that's okay. You know, Jordan ones are a little bit different than those. When those get beat up, 
They don't look as good as these do. You know, these break in so nicely because they're all leather. I hold these in very high regard and I go back and forth between which pair I like better, these or the Royals. It could change literally every single week. I went like an entire year thinking, yep, Royal Ones, that's my favorite shoe, that's my grail. But now I'm like, how is it not the breads? And then sometimes I'm like, it's the black toes. And I'd be like, oh, it's the Chicago's if I had them, I don't have those. Now I'm just kind of all over the place, but it is a Jordan 1. You know, Jordan 1's, they can do no wrong. This shoe just fits in my rotation so perfectly. I can wear it with pretty much everything that I own. So these are never leaving my collection. So that leaves us with three other pairs. And honestly, let's break this down. Threes and fours, out of these two, which ones do I like better? I like the fours a little bit better than threes. This specific colorway though, probably like the black cement three just a little bit better because it's got a tad bit more going on. So those are not leaving, but bread fours are very close behind. So those are staying, which leaves us with the 11s. Now, am I saying that these shoes are whack or I don't like them or anything? Absolutely not. But they're just a little bit too flashy for me. The shape is different. There's not much to say that I don't like about this shoe. However, all three of these other ones, they have that retro vibe. And that's always something that I've gravitated to because it's so wearable. A lot of people take the history and the moments that Michael Jordan has had in these shoes into strong consideration, and that's cool and it is important, but that's just not the kind of sneaker collector that I am. So I don't know what Michael has done in certain shoes and what he hasn't and what's a true OG colorway. Actually, I, th I should know that. I think I do know that, but all I'm saying, at the forefront, what I'm looking for most in these sneakers is how I can style them, how I can wear them. So for all those reasons, the Jordan 11 is eliminated. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. And if I threw the infrared sixes in here, I still think it would be the Jordan 11s that are leaving. But let me know if you liked this style video. Do you wanna see more like it with like collaborative shoes or non-OG colorways or just more classics like this. Let me know down in the comment section if you enjoyed it. Absolutely hit that thumbs up button for me one time. Subscribe if you're new. Make sure you're following me on Twitter and Instagram. I'm at Eddie Winkicks. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.